stuff I'm missing for. Got the. I think I remember this one. Wearing a blindfold. Yeah, he he would. In fact, he does it at the beginning of the game. For the first case. Holmes, what happened? I feel deathly. And you look it. Let me examine you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. The pupil is dilated. The temperature appears to be normal. Okay, let's check the pulse. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. I need to concentrate. Six, seven, eight. A weak pulse, around 50 beats per minute. But you're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote. <laughs> Give it to me. Of course we poison ourselves. You mean that you're poisoned? Now. Please. Here, drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. Mr. Holmes, Inspector Lestrade is here to see you. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone. Actually, he's he not a man of sciences. He's just a, a good day, some mad genius. Ah! Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. This is a strange one. It, science is we more brought in two young right. bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. Oh, good they God. were found stranded I in don't the want to you as drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were Hello? both in the bath, but uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway, there was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yes. And these two young banker chaps are sons of the oh, owners like of the White Star Line, a company that built to, uh, it the rumors Titanic. of corruption. I'm here. not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it then. Yeah, I Here's guess apparently he the Ando got something to get over it. It's a murder, but we're reason. unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. A probably quick the Roman baths in Strand Lane. Given the fact a that, murder, yeah. a vanishing weapon, oh, we the Roman baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. God. Why we have like the time? I, I don't even think. I think I actually almost sat on my cats because I didn't realize they were there. Okay. The power of the Empire is growing stronger by day. Yesterday, the Mexican Gastronom began serving. The cause of the British Empire. This arrangement is undoubtedly proper for London and England. Overall, the greatest achievement of an experimental diplomatic community. Under the rules, the train has been sisterly. disappeared en route to Sam Railway Station.
Oh, nice, nice, nice. Beautiful place. Exactly. With a dreadful murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. Are nice. you able to identify the men who are with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. Sometimes that. Uh... You found no murder weapon? No. Yeah, no that's why really I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. Was there anyone else here, apart from those gentlemen in the steam room? Yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Like wrinkles? Yeah, it looks like this guy hasn't been able to speak well. Scissor cut. Grooms himself. Lives alone. Oof, fuck. Yeah, I could say he definitely did that. Look at his ear. I mean, heck, I wouldn't even be comfortable cutting my own ear like that. Yeah. He has a telegram. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. Great. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night? Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. Hmm. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Mm. Our visitors. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. And what happened after that? I waited until it all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. Are the steam rooms on the other side, Mr. Holmes? Pick the steam room up. I want one to celebrate An ice things. bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Champagne for a special occasion. Unopened. It was intended to be enjoyed after the steam session. Although, I would probably put it so close in the steam room. Especially if I back him up in the ice and my egg kind of taste. Probably you could should have left it outside uh, over by uh over by the guy had to Good Lord Holmes. Yeah, this guy ah, was definitely beautiful. Death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. 
Like the one you almost had an hour ago. And let us forget about that. There was only one hit from the weapon. It pierced the right eye straight through to the brain. Yes. Death would have been instantaneous. Yeah, thankfully, because... Yeah, anything that touches even remotely the eyes is freaking painful. I could even have, like, a fly flew right into my eye one time, and that was, like... Look what. Ouch. He was wearing like, a ring. Like, he very likely that, removed like, it before the steam session. For a while until I get some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Well, death is very recent, between thirty minutes to one hour ago. Hmm. The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. Oh, something doesn't add up with his death. I think we have found all that we can here, taking into consideration the abysmal lighting. Constable, we have finished with the body. We don't have many leads here. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. It's Holmes, please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering, Holmes, it's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. The murderer was in a hurry, or he is an artist, or a ghost, Probably. or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that? Hey, man, there's probably a, some, like, uh, pissed-off Roman ghosts in here upset that we're using the bathhouse. What should we do next, Holmes? The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. I will need something to pick up this melted metal. And... With the steam on, hey, I'm it, unable Dexter. to see even a few feet away. Well, this is how they did in, in the bathhouse. Just turn on so much steam, no one can see anything. It's horrible. So Rodney East, date. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. I could probably see why that. Uh... It's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. Mr. Holmes? Will you be pointing out that you don't exist yet? I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. WA. Mr. Holmes? I can't understand what happened. If you have to interrogate me, I'd like... Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. 
These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Clothes belonging to one of the suspects. Iffy. There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. Do you have any idea who left it there? There is? Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe that it's important? Is there anything in here? Right. I wonder how this could have happened. <coughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium, the coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. This... This area... There we go. Now, does he have anything like tongs or... A glass plate negative is missing. Must be very embarrassing. It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Glass plate negatives, a remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. Archaeological findings, old clay pots yeah, with numbers well. inscribed. Dear friend, I wish to organize a press conference at Saren Lane Bass next month. 18. 93 was a remarkable year for my work in Egypt. Now is the time to set my focus up on English as archaeology, to shine the light on our national treasures and to reveal them to the public. I would like to proceed in the main drills as possible since to record the event and the record. The favorite, if he treated them all well enough. I should like to recall my old friendship with Lord Blackmore and use the special funds from the Royal Archaeological Institute for this event. Sir Rodney, in quick. Why if it can be used as a summer camp? Well, I'll play this. Besides this, archaeological interest appears to be part of something larger. At the present moment, I'm going to determine what exactly it might be. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? I don't know how the fuck we Archaeological findings, old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Mm -hmm. Must have some of them. Oh, I'll take this. I will need these tongs. Tools used by archaeologists in their research. Yeah, 
You're afraid to ask what that is. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, I think Tass says I should something analyze this melted free. metal. I felt I feel or do we have to stay here? Oh wait, there's glasses. There we go. One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. I don't want to stay. These baths are becoming sinister. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? Turn it off. None, Lestrade. Especially since I can't really talk to them here. All these events are bad for the baths. And my job. Let's actually analyze what the heck this bell is. Zamel in the fountain. Uh, question we can't do. Can't analyze it. Oh, long, long ago. Pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold. So we have big gold in here. Selenite. White, White clay white. particles. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Mix it with some pool. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. The sample of dirt belongs to the White London clay region, located near the city of St. Albans. What this, spells. this is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us Damn. compare this sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result That's of a reaction with a silver coin, is then it is silver. I must take a... Silver. The reaction is the same red stain. It is silver. Britannia silver quality. It's, yeah, so, yeah. My analysis table. It is useful Only for my work. if that was in America. Still stuck on uh, Fahrenheit's alley. That is not the one. That is. That is. Bankless mummy. Activations. Yep. Here it is. By the eye he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Oof. Let me be the Roman martyr and Egyptian has some similar. Oh, that's a trip. Well, no on Roman the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. That's not the one. That that is the one. A map of so 
to the Scotland. My speed. There was one time that my dad found this. Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. That was like over when my like, dad's place. It was like all this guy called room rainbow. I don't know what exactly what. Hey. Interested for your fire assist my path change fair. At present time, the there's a very excavation main on your direction, yet the works have not progressed. We failed to find anything of value, and we are unable to make the bridge bay accessible to the public. The valuable asset recreation room, bath experience, urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have the remaining time to complete your archaeological research and to find yourself another workplace. An ordinary. Hmm. So it sounds like he, he was in a hurry. Person. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. You know, the to begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. Like I don't want to damage the traces. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. Today I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Hmm. Found what? Mr. Holmes, the coroner had But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? Nope. I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. You like invisible ink. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. No. I mean, heck, all I did was actually, wasn't to actually destroying it, I was using the evidence to basically to find, to recover things that were lost. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. And welded it. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too, with silver. Hmm. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear Run. such a ring? A very pertinent question. Run franchise. Although I've actually heard talk that they're actually like you know, some people are actually trying to make it that way. So you can like remaster like the original PS2. An old or and game. Rather dirty coin. That was since I actually checked it out. A hand drawn map. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's Wart Flower Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. Up it tells me that it ended up getting banned. An embroidered silk handkerchief. A fountain pen. 
with solid gold trim. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. Some light bruising caused by a rope. Some light. Oh, yeah. I've actually seen them. Uh, welcome in, Mark. How's it doing, man? The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir so Rodney was descending somewhere. Probably from a uh, previous excavation. Yes, I don't see that in the bathhouse. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted yeah, in I instant those death, those, those as those the coroner's report fun. says. There was actually, uh, I think there's like a roof one that came out a while ago too. It's like, has like Jack Black as your like, I haven't uh, seen it, but. Though I actually did uh, see uh, one of the older Sherlock Holmes movies. I think it was uh, played by an actor by going by the name of Basil. Those are actually pretty. What should we do next? Those were very fun. Watch. Although Watson is more of like a bumbling idiot in those uh, older films. 